Good morning again. My name is Dean. I'm here at Transwest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. Uh, it's a beautiful morning to show you one of our new pieces. It's a 2024 uh, Renegade Valencia. It's a 38 RB, stands for rear bath. It's a bath and a half model. It's 38 foot, two inches long. It's featured here in the Brickyard paint, the new scheme, beautiful colors. Um, we'll just go ahead and get started. So we're gonna start right here at the door. Uh, notice you do have two mechanical steps. We do have them open, so they're not in and out every time we open the door. But you do have a nice door. It's a nice little uh, screen door here. Nice grab handles, easy entry. You'll notice here we do have a Truma AquaGo. That's an on-demand water, hot water system. First thing I'll point out with Renegade is they do have a dual latch door closing catch here. That's gonna keep these doors nice and aligned and then real easy to shut. And they are upholstered cargo bays. This is our bay where we have our 3000 watt pure sign inverter, the Xantrex. Uh, that's one of our solar, it's our solar controller there. And above that is a little monitor and you can see we've got 14.4 volts, so it's charging real nicely. Overhead, we do have a nice Gerard horizontal arm awning with wind control. Nice LED lights on the end. It's gonna provide lots of shade when you're out here watching the Super Bowl tailgating in this nice unit. Nice little Cydia Smart TV with a JBL sound bar and a couple USB ports right here. Bluetooth into that, you can play your music on your phone or what have you. We do have frameless dual pane windows. There's no soft material exposed to the UV out here, so those windows are gonna last you a long time. We have a nice big cargo bay here. A couple of the things they supply with the Valencia is a nice little airline hose if you need to air up tires or what have you. Some, some slide locks you may or may not need. And coming down the coach, we do have another nice big storage that kind of goes underneath that frame rail as you can kind of see. They are lit. There's the ottoman for the inside and the, that's the color of the leather that the inside is. All this is full body paint. There's not going to be any uh, graphics on this coach, anything to peel off or check over time. Back here you have a kind of a deep, longer item storage. As you can see, there's no wall there, so if you wanted to put something longer in there, you could do so. Again, nice and upholstered, easy to shut doors. This here's a little propane disconnect. It's, it's hooked into your 20 gallon uh, propane tank. If you want to run a little hose up there and maybe put like a low pressure grill out here or anything you need propane for, you could do so. A nice little fire pit or something that it, something like that. Uh, we did opt this one with the nice mud guard. It's all the way across the bottom as you can see that with the Renegade logos on them. Uh, it is a fiberglass rear cap, but it's a two piece. And the two piece is nice because if you were to bump into something at a gas station or something like that, you wouldn't have to replace the whole back end. You could just replace this bottom section and get moving. So that's kind of a nice feature. Everyone talks about the one piece caps. They're nice. This one is a little bit more user friendly if you do bump into something. Um, you'll notice there's a backup camera up top. It goes right to the screen up in the dash. Um, all these are nice LED bright brake lights, reverse lights. Beautiful new design on this cap. You do have a, you see our uh, generators running a little bit, but this is a 12,000 pound hitch. Pull that nice big boat, that trailer. Um, you have a nice little seven way integrated into the bumper here. Coming around here, this is our kind of our power short, short center. We have our uh, surge protector transfer switch there, as you can see. We have a nice little 50 amp cord that pops through this little portal here. And we do have a little, it, it is a power wheel. So, and if you need it to uh, convert to a 30 amp, you got that right there. Again, nice, nicely done. And that, that, that power rail is just awesome. Right here we do have our, and you can hear it running a little bit maybe, but it's a little 8,000 watt quiet diesel generator by Onan. Best in the business. That's gonna power this whole coach, like no problem, plenty of amps. That's also one of those Onans that they make up more of the 8,000s than I think any other unit, so you can get parts for these guys forever. Diesel fill here. Nice polished aluminum rims on this guy, Bridgestone tires. This is a 35,000 BTU furnace, 
feeds off the propane, it's gonna heat that coach no problem. And then we have a little bit of a wet bay here. It's a little wet bay, but it packs a lot of stuff. So first thing I'll point out, water filtration system. Not only, not only does it make your water taste better, it also keeps your water system healthy. A place to store your sewage hose. Here's your wrench for that guy there. We do have this guy winterized because it's getting the weather's turning, so that's why none of this is hooked up right now. Low point drains. This is a spigot right here if you want to spray off anything. You do have a nice fill hose on a, on a power reel, and you can retract that right there. Tank fill or city water, and you have black and gray, nice gate valves here. And a lot of the, a lot of the units have them outside where you can get to them and they get a little dirty and they get a little cold and they break so having those up in here is just a better system um, you do have a black tank wash you know always want to make sure if you're using that your black tanks hooked up to the sewer the dump station and open so it doesn't backfill into your coach and we also have this little panel here where we can actually see what our batteries are our gray tank our black tank you can kind of get an idea of where we're at with that as we're dumping and we're in this this wet bay so really nice functional wet bay these two uh these are just tanks you get a shot in here this is where you would hook up your sewer hose put it through this little portal here to the dump station the one next to it's just another tank these are heated tanks but if you come up here you'll see This is actually just your propane. It's a 20 gallon propane. You have to take that to a propane filling station with the coach and have them plug it in and fill it, but a lot of propane. And then here, got the slides open, so a little difficult, but we have our two cranking batteries for our chassis and we have a nice 330 amp hour AGM battery for our, um, our, our house side. That's hooked up to uh, three, 200 watt solar panels up top so there's plenty of power and these don't actually emit any kind of corrosive gases so you're not going to have all that that corrosion on your battery tops but coming around this side notice you do have gerard slide toppers kind of keeps the top of your slides debris free so you they open and close no problem without any pine cones or branches or anything kind of binding them up uh, nice big visible mirrors on this chassis um, non-skid steps all the way up and you'll notice great grab handles here and here to get up in there coach you do have uh, air ride seats on this cab on this this right here is your uh, block heater if you want to plug that in this is your def tank uh, th this coach has 100 gallons of fuel 10 gallons of def and we also have side cameras on both sides they're right here, the blind spot cameras, nice front. This is the S2 RV chassis by Freightliner. It comes with a 6.7 Cummins, which is 360 horsepower and 800 foot-pounds of torque. It has a three, Allison 3000 MH six-speed electronic six-speed transmission. And just real easy to kind of access your, the stuff you're gonna fill and monitor. Uh, one thing I'd like to point out, these do have three-piece bumpers. If this were to ever hit, a, heaven forbid, any kind of deer or something on the road, or any kind of collision, it's going to break off before it punctures your tire, so you can get it to a station to get it fixed. Um, again, real good access to both sides over here. Over here, you do have your air filter. This is how you would check that. Windshield wiper fluid, coolant. Just real easy. Just a really easy compartment to manage. You have the one piece overhead fiberglass sleeper with a nice skylight up there. We'll show you inside. So let's go inside and see what this floor plan's all about. Thirty-eight RB. It's a bath and a half floor plan. It sleeps eight. I'm going to start in the back and work my way forward. So we'll come back here. Back here you have kind of your full-time bath. Got a 
nice little neo angle shower. I'm 6'1. I fit in here nicely. There's plenty of headroom. Nice little skylight. Gives you a lot of light in here. Uh, residential brushed nickel faucet. We do have it apart because it is a, a winterized unit. There's a one-piece fiberglass neo angle, like I said. And really easy to keep clean in there. You see we have solid surface countertop, undermount sink, more brushed nickel. Got a nice little medicine cabinet here with a nice vanity light and some storage overhead over here. And you got a little storage up there. This is a porcelain macerator toilet. And you've also got a little panel here to, if you want to mess with your fan up here, this is a nice max air fan. Um, ceiling lights, vanity lights, and water pump switch. Got a little storage here, place to put your TP, and access to your plumbing. Coming into the master bedroom, we have the the bed's a 72 by 74 king bed with relaxed memory foam mattress. Uh, underneath this guy, you have two 75 gallon water tanks. Here's your water pump if you need to access it. You have a nice little prop bar if you need to get to it. But one thing to notice, um, this is an aluminum framed coach with a vacuum bonded wall. And you kind of got to see, like, they weld all their aluminum just really well and you can kind of see that just even in the bed frame so I like to point that out because you can't get a look at the walls but nice there coming over here you'll see that we have two outlets on both sides and these outlets are nice because they have not only the old USB but the new USB for phone charging and what have you nice places to put your phone on these little stands nice upholstered headboard kind of got these down these are nice little day and night shades um, these do open if you want to get some cross breeze and you have some storage up here with an outlet up here so if you need to plug anything in up here maybe a CPAP machine or something to that effect you can do so these do stay open if you need them to and they also kind of clasp shut with these little clasps and that keeps these things from rattling when you're going down the road really smart construction by Renegade notice there is a multiplex here and some nice reading lights coming over to your Kind of wardrobe area we do have these the cabinet color is called lakewood so it's not too dark not too washed out really nice maple wood We've got hanging storage on the left and hanging storage on the right they are lit as you can see and you have nice four drawers on each side soft clothes and these soft clothes not only do they close nicely but they also keep these from rattling as well so it's going to be nice and quiet going down the road you can look over here, there is a little night light. I don't know if you can catch a shot of that, but the night light's nice when you're kind of getting through here at night. Again, another solid surface countertop with a nice plug in, nice little insignia, smart TV. And I'll go over this with you back here. There's one in the kitchen, but this is a good time to kind of go over this. This is your this is kind of what the brain of the coach, and it's gonna give you different options to run it. Um, we could do the light master on and off, as you see. Um, it gives you temperatures. We have the generator running. There's also an auto gen start. You go in here. You can set that generator to, to come on if, say, the coach gets the temperature and the coach gets too high. You have an animal in here while you're not in the coach. Or if the, the battery levels start dropping a little bit because you have certain stuff on, it'll kick that thing on for you. It just kind of depends on how you have it set. Um, we do have a light panel, which you can, again, do master, or you can hit individual lights if you'd like. Here's your HVAC, pretty self-explanatory. Um, here's your two front, your Max Air fans in your bathrooms. This is the screen where you would run slides in and out, awnings or leveling. And this is how you would set up that guy if you wanted to change the, the settings on the actual panel. So that's that. We do have more storage down here. I kind of got this a little bit. And a really nice big drawer right here. Of course, we have anywhere you see glass in the cabinet. That's kind of for audio video stuff. So you can, your remotes work through that glass. And 
you have this does have a, a satellite up top and uh, if you want to put your receivers in there you can kind of just remote right through that cabinet and then you have another nice bigger cabinet here your emergency exit is located right here if you ever needed to leave the coach from the back end hopefully you don't have to do that again day and night shades really nice window treatments nothing too crazy and we have another lit wardrobe for hanging items and four more big nice dresser drawers The floors in the Valencia's, you get down here, you're going to see it's a nice little vinyl plank. Vinyl's nice because if you get it wet and you clean it up, mold can't live with vinyl. So it's a great floor system for motorhomes. I mean, it's a real tasteful color, as you see. Here we have our Splendid washer and dryer. It is a 110 setup, and it's vented. So your dryer is vented just like your house. It's gonna run just like an apartment stackable. They've come a long way from the old combo units that had a hard time drying a pair of jeans. Uh, this is our traveling bath or our mid bath. When that bed is closed and that, that slide is, you're really not gonna access that back bathroom. So as you're going down the road and you need to use the restroom, you can just pop in this guy. It does have a nice little slider door. Doesn't any room. And we also have doors here and here this slide to close off this bedroom. Back to the bathroom now, we have another porcelain macerating toilet. We have another little multiplex here. These multiplexes, they do have a dimming feature, as you can see in here. It's getting a little dimmer in here. If you, and that's everywhere in the coach. So you have dimming lights, vanity lights, um, water pump. You can actually dim the bedroom ceiling here. And then you have your, your fan right there. Again, the nice shades there. Solid surface corner cap countertop with the undermount sink, brushed nickel faucet, and some more storage here. With a nice little corner. This is a lot of space up there for medicine cabinet with that corner. Light treatments are nice. Got a nice soft ceiling in this guy. Coming over here. One of the nice things about this floor plan is the, the the pantry in this guy is nice, nice size. So you can actually put a lot of deep stuff in here, and then you have your your breakers that are just kind of out of the way. Not you're not going to kick them under the bed or anything. They're right here nicely. You see your 110 breakers. These are your little your 12 volt fuses, and they are lit if they are out. So you'll know if, you'll know if something's not working, but you'll you'll be able to source that to change it out real easy. We do have some information on the coach, electrical legends, some colors, some some numbers here if you do need to get a hold of Renegade for any reason. And below there is your CO2 detector. Coming over here, we have our booth dinette. Pretty easy to convert to a bed. You just push it down. And then you just you have these little cushions you fill in there, and then you can sleep somewhat in there. A little shorter people, but still. We do have windows all around the dinette, big windows, nice light treatments. I'll show you this. Uh, the sleeper on the couch, really easy to convert. Doesn't take too long. The only trick to it is there's a little strap here. So you just unhook that, put your legs down, pull it out, drop it. And pop this down. And there you're ready to get sleep. Real comfortable. I think it's almost a queen size. And while this is open, you can see we do have seat belts for extra travelers. There's three seat belts there, two in the back of the dinette, and two up front. So, plenty of seat belts for everyone going on their vacation. And you're back to. Back to getting ready to watch TV there. Just that, that easy. 
Come over here to the kitchen side. We have another audio video cabinet. As you see, there's glass up there. This is hooked up to that big smart TV right there. And a nice Samsung refrigerator. Notice you do have an ice maker in here. So you set your temperatures up on that panel. So just a really nice, good looking stainless steel residential refrigerator. Here's your other panel that we talked about in the master. You have a second one up here, right next to your convection microwave. And a nice deep storage there. This one is equipped with a three, three burner propane oven, or stove, I'm sorry. You don't want to use that guy. You got all that extra counter space there with a nice glass backsplash. And we have some nice drawers underneath there. Here's some. Here's your water filter. Some of your remotes. Touch-up paint. Nice cabinet under there for bigger items. See, there's a nice little GFCI up here. Nice place to put coffee maker. And some more storage up top. Here's some manuals for you. And that's... Right here we do have a nice little undermount sink. Stainless steel, as you can see. And a really nice brushed nickel faucet that has a sprayer on it. A lot of sink area there. So come around here, I'll show you the overhead bed here. We do have, that's that skylight we talked about outside. We have a storage here with the same outlet up here that has the USBs in it. Uh, this guy slides forward and it pins in it makes a big old bed up there nice accent lighting up there and there is a curtain that goes all the way across here if you wanted some privacy with your own little tv up there Valencia's the entry level Freightliner product that they that Renegade makes. It's got a lot going on. It's a great, great little super seat. Come up to the cab on the S2 RV chassis. So you've got really nice upholstered seats, real comfortable. Um, you do have power leveling. If you were to want to, if you get to where you're going, pop out your awning. You hit auto level, it'll just level this guy up right away. Um, if your co-pilot wants to help you navigate, you can take that over there and plug in your address. We do have a park brake. This isn't like some of your typical C's where you have a gear shift. You actually have a gear box. This is that Allison 3000 uh, MH transmission, but you would uh, put it in neutral, pull the brake out. There's no real park gear. So that's the only difference you're gonna have in here other than what you drive every day. Um, we do have a button here. If we were to back up into a trailer, we needed to, as it was running, we wanted to lower it a little bit to, to match that uh, that trailer hitch. We could do so right here. Um, mirror heat, regen. This is an HVAC, just much like what you use in your car every day. You know, your fan speed, temperature, where you're gonna have it blow at you. We do have an ashtray in this guy, which is pretty rare, cup holders. These are your windows, these are your locks, this is your, your engine brake. Um, we do have fusion here. What is this? That's your little, that's for USB. Docking lights if you're backing up into a spot at night. This gearbox is pretty neat because you can actually go into some diagnostics on that transmission if you want so you actually it's not just a gearbox you can actually see your, what's going on with that 
what was beeping was that uh, equalizing system. Over here you have your headlights, you can increase your dash lights, speed control, which is your, uh, your cruise control. Pretty simple, you, you'll catch down here that this has been equipped with a, it's got a trailer brake on it. But typically, you know, it is a diesel, big diesel rig. And the only thing, like I said, is gonna be different about driving this is gonna be just not get, not having a park, just put it in neutral, pulling this out every time. That's gonna be the only adjustment. Um, you do have the ignition on the left here. It's a little different, but that's the Valencia today. A couple things about this coach. It's got uh, the dimensions. We have the overall length on this guy is going to be 38 foot 2 inches. We have a width of 8 foot 3 inches. We have a height of 12 foot 10 inches on the highest point on the outside. And the interior height right here is going to be uh, 7 feet. We have 100 gallons fuel, 10 gallons depth. The fresh water on this coach is 150 gallons. Both those 75 gallons are under the bed. Then you have a gray tank outside that I showed you that's 75,000 or 75 gallons, sorry and a black that's 75 gallons. Um, 20 gallon propane, and that's about it. So if you wanna call, uh, if you have any questions about this or any of other units, and we do have a lot of units on the ground right now, just give me a call, I'm Dean Jones. Uh, my number is 720-347-7063. Thanks for uh, walking through this coach with me today. And we'll see you next time.